Hello, my name is Jonathan Butcher. I like a lot of sports, and ICT isn't one of my strong points. I just use it for social reasons, really. <laughs> I'm 15, and I'm entering year 11 at Helsing High School. So I had work experience for a week, and this year I had to get my own placement. And I was lucky to get a placement at Purple Tuesday to do software development. And this would be something completely new for me. During my work experience, I had a chance to try out the Raspberry Pi for the first time. And using the Raspberry Pi, I had to create a game using a program that was on there. That program was called Scratch. And before my work experience, I had only heard of the Raspberry Pi in the news. But I wasn't entirely sure what it was or what it was supposed to do, so it was going to be quite interesting for me to see it when I did actually get to see it. So a Raspberry Pi is a mini computer which just comes as a circuit board. It is made to be a good functioning computer for people who cannot afford a normal computer. One of the jobs I had to do on my work experience was to put together the Raspberry Pi. I needed to download a version of Debian, which was the operating system, and I needed to read the instructions a lot to know what to do. So I'm not great with ICT. This was going to be a good, great challenge for me, and the company were quite interested to see how I'd cope with putting together a Raspberry Pi and starting it up. Uh, and after I'd put together the Raspberry Pi, I had a chance to play around with it and have a look at all the programs that are on there. And I was quite impressed with what was on there, that I was expecting to be a lot less than there were. So I had a main project to do during my work experience. It was to create a game <coughs> the program Scratch. The game I decided to make was a racing game where you had to complete the track in a set time limit. And Scratch is a program that is on the Raspberry Pi that allows you to make games by connecting commands together. This is good for people like me because you can make a little game like mine without worrying about all the tricky codes. So to make this game work I needed to include a lot of things, for example, making the car reset after going off the track and only advancing in the levels if you do the track in a certain time limit. And this was my project after the first day. I had to look all over the internet to know how to do all the different things. So at this point I'd made the car and the track using the scratch paint tools, but that was all I knew at this point. And this is what my game looked like after a few days. I used Adobe Illustrator to draw the track, and then I'd made the car by colouring in an outline of a Lotus Elise, and then I had to import both of those into scratch. I'd learned a lot of things by this time about using Scratch. I was quite happy with what I had done at this point. So I'd made the car and the background kind of talk to each other so it knew what to do when certain situations happened. But then, I had a very good problem with <laughs> Scratch. It said that it saved, so I switched it off. And then when I came back upon it, my project was there. It wasn't there, so obviously it didn't save and I had to do it all over again. <laughs> So I'd lost all my work, I obviously had to redo it all, and the Raspberry Pi was really slow to use. And I, because I needed to do it quickly, I chose to do it on the laptop. And this way I would be able to do it quickly. So I did manage to redo my work before my work experience week was over. Because I'd already used Scratch before, I knew what to do, and overall this would help me improve on what I had before. So in a way it was a good thing. <coughs> And I thought that Scratch was a very good program. It taught me a lot of things about logic. And before I used it, I, I didn't really know about how programs work properly. And overall, it was quite fun to use, and it's very educational. The Raspberry Pi can do everything a normal computer can do. It is good value for money, and it was fun to set up. However, the, uh, it was very slow to use, and the pre-installed web browser was rubbish. And that looks very fair about the case. So for all my week I learned a huge amount of things. I found the tasks, tasks I'd done were very fun. And in the future I wouldn't mind looking into ICT for a possible career choice. And thank you for listening. Well done.